What's up YouTube? Welcome to another video. Today I want to talk about this card right here, the Bank Norwegian Visa card, and I want to share five reasons for why you should consider getting this card. Please hang on until the end of the video because I also share a few disadvantages or main drawbacks of this card. If you have seen my video on how to get to 1 million euro bonus points, you already know that I use my American Express Elite as my main card and my MasterCard World Premium as my backup card. However, one thing I didn't mention in that video is that I also have this Bank Norwegian Visa card as my third backup card. If you haven't seen that video, there should be a card up here. You can go check it out. If you find this information useful, please consider hitting the like button. It helps a lot keeping the channel alive. I will also include in the description down below a link where you can apply for this card and get 200 cash points with my referral. Of course, I will also get the same amount of points you get, which helps a lot supporting the channel. All right, so enough talking, let's jump right in. Okay, the first reason is that this card has no annual fee. So it costs nothing to get this card on your wallet, and then it's yet another alternative for getting rewards um, that you can evaluate on demand whether it's, it's worth using it or not. I've had this card for over five years now, and I've never paid a single cent on maintenance or fees, which is very convenient. The second reason is that this is a Visa card. As I mentioned earlier, I use my American Express and my MasterCard as my two main cards. However, believe it or not, there are still plenty of places that only take Visa if you pay with credit card. So that means that you either pay cash or debit, or you have a Visa credit card. I always refuse trying to pay with cash or debit because first, you don't get any rewards from what you're buying, and second, you don't get any purchase protection as you do with your credit card. So if you have a problem with what you're buying, it's much, much harder to get your money back, unlike how it is with credit cards. So if the store or shop only allows Visa, then you will need to get a Visa credit card. But in the Nordics, it's really hard to find a good Visa card with no annual fee and good rewards. And this is where this card comes in. Now, my main strategy is to get Euro bonus points. But when it comes to the case where I cannot use my American Express or my MasterCard, then I use this Visa card and at least I get some cash points back without having to pay a fee for maintaining the card. Another use case is that oftentimes you see promotions that are running only on Visa cards. So for example, Marriott hotels, plenty of other hotel chains or touristic attractions, they often run discounts or better rates only if you pay with Visa. So for those cases, you might want to consider getting a Visa card. Next, the third reason for why you should get this card is that they have a high cashback on Norwegian flights. Nowadays, Norwegian flies to many destinations and in many cases is the cheapest option. They are flying with brand new planes, two main airports, and it's often the cheapest alternative. So if you find yourself flying Norwegian, you can get from four all the way up to 10% cashback buying your tickets with this card. You get 4% cashback if you buy the lowest fare tickets, and if you buy the most flexible tickets, then you get 10% cashback. So if you fly Norwegian often, then it's a great way to get your flights cheaper. Fourth reason to get this card is that there's no fees for cash withdrawals. So oftentimes, if you're abroad and you need some cash, you go to an ATM. First, many ATMs only work with Visa, so this is a win for this card, but many other banks and cards charge a fee for taking money out of your credit card. With this card, you can take money and there's no fees attached. Of course, there are limits, so it depends on the amount of money you need. You have a daily withdrawal limit and a monthly withdrawal limit. And of course, there's a credit card limit, which is how much money you can spend with your card. But nevertheless, I've used this card many times to get money out of an ATM. And it was the only card actually working in some countries or specific ATMs. One thing to keep in mind is that whenever you withdraw money from an ATM, those transactions do not earn cash points. So you won't earn points or cash withdrawals. So keep that in mind. All right, fifth and last reason for getting the Visa card. It's actually an optional service, and this costs extra, but I thought it was a very cool thing to have, and it's the dental insurance. So as we said before, this card has no fees, but of course, you can opt into some extra insurances they also have. For example, the dental insurance. And it really depends on your situation, but oftentimes you end up spending a lot of money on dental care. So every month you get charged on your card. I don't really remember the exact amount, but it's something around 30 euros, from 30 to 40 euros, and then that's an insurance you have to cover for dental costs. So if you find yourself spending a lot on dental care from time to time, this is a great thing to consider. You can go to the dentist, 
pay with this card and get reimbursed from the insurance. All right, now onto the disadvantages and the thing I don't like about this card. So the first thing I don't like about this card is that they have a fairly low earning rate on everyday purchases. Now it's around a half percent cashback, so this means that if you spend 20,000 crowns, you will get the 100 cash points back. Again, since it has no annual fee, this is still a gain, but that's why I don't use it as my main card. The offer could be much better, that's why I have it as a backup card. The second thing I don't like about this card is that there's no earning for buying other airline tickets. So you don't earn any cash points on other airline tickets. That's quite aggressive from them. They could do like any other card, like just saying you earn the regular rate, but no, they went very aggressive saying you will earn zero points. And of course, this is really encouraging you to fly Norwegian. So if you have this card, keep this in mind when you're buying other airline tickets. The third thing I don't like is that they don't support Apple Pay or Google Pay. So it's only with the physical card that you can buy stuff. There's one way to work around it and it's with Curve. So Curve is not a credit card, it's a card aggregator. So this means that you can get this card and then you can connect all your other cards and just use this one and then send your transactions to the right card. So you can connect your Bank Norwegian Visa and then buy with Curve and then it will get transferred to this Visa card. The nice thing about Curve is that they added support for Apple Pay. So this means that you can have this card on your Apple Pay wallet, pay with Apple Pay, and then they will charge your Norwegian card. Of course, it will be nice to still have official support from Bank Norwegian, so I hope they are working on that. If you want to try Curve, it's great. I have another video coming up, and I leave a link in the description where you can find more information. And to wrap up, the last thing to consider about this card is that it's only available for people over 23 years old. This is really different from other cards like Amex or MasterCard, since they allow you to get the card with only 18 years old. I don't really know the reason for why they only want people over 23, but for now that's a limitation. So if you are between 18 and 23, then you should consider getting other cards like the American Express or the MasterCard. That's it for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you want to give it a shot and you would like to try it out, you can get 200 cash points for free if you use my referral link down below. Of course, I will also get the same amount of points you get and that helps support the channel a lot. After you get the card, you can also refer more people so you can consider referring family and friends and you will also get 200 cash points for their referral. If you find this information useful, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. I drop these videos with tips and tricks on how to optimize your spending and try to fly for free every other week. So if you like the content, stay tuned. There's much more coming up. Thank you so much and see you soon.